uh, our uh, next topic is uh, to create a very simple uh, tank filling example by using a, a counter uh, and using a semantic HMI for TI portal and the CPU uh, that I'm working with is S7300. Uh, so, uh, in order to function test, I have this empty um, button. By using this empty button, the whole tank will be zero. Uh, it's also possible uh, to fill in each click. We uh, when we click the filling button, uh, five percent of the level is filled in the tank. You see that uh, I'm filling. And the level of the tank will not uh, uh, exceed 100. And it's also possible to to drain. And uh, you see that uh, uh, the the uh, level of the tank is you uh, sh is shown by uh, this. Uh, bar indication. It's also possible uh, to see the numerical value here. It's also possible uh, to reset the the whole uh, you know counting value. We are using a simple semantic counter and a simple uh, multiplier here to perform the filling. I will uh, explain the whole step. A procedure in this example. Please uh, continue watching the rest of this video. So we are back to our program. All the uh, program sections are uh, deleted. Mm, the first uh, part is counting for fill and drain. Fill the rain and total emptying uh, for that we need the uh, semantic uh, counter uh, this counter is capable of doing uh, up, upward counting and downward counting for uh, upward counting we need to add and block mm. for feeding we have a, a memory bit that is linked to the uh, this memory link uh, this memory uh, bit is linked to the hmi and uh, there is another signal uh, you can say that this signal can be directly connected to the countdown uh, for countdown we have the drain and for reset uh, the reset is a bit complex we need uh, an OR block mm. uh, the signal related to emptying is fed to the uh, reset, in reset input and he for um, the other part we need to check if the uh, counter value is less than uh, zero less than uh, for counter value uh, we can give this uh, level if level is less than uh, zero we will reset less than zero not uh, i just uh, uh, want to see if the level is less than zero uh, in the next step i need a multiplier i give the, um, the uh, i will bring the multiplier from the math functions i will multiply Uh, what about MV400? Let me check MV400. 
this is the value I will multiply the value by 5 and transfer that to the level and this is level multiplier level calculation and we don't want to go uh, more than 100 uh, if possible to use a comparator here mm, comparing is possible if uh, the value is less than uh, and less than and equal to 20 so level should be level should be less than 20 and this is an integer uh, we need to also so mm, by clicking here we will uh, add it to the counter counter will be multiplied uh, we need to check if the mm, uh, we ensure that counter is less than 100 is possible to mm, if counter is more than uh, if level is more than 20 or 100 if level is more than 100 100 just simply uh, use a move transfer 100 to transfer 100 to uh, is it possible to have a dummy memory here? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I need to change that to integer. Int one. Oh, it's possible. It, uh, or we can can I transfer that to the same memory. If this is not true, level has the same value. Level should be less than 100. And finally, we need to change the integer to real. For integer to real, uh, we need to use to con convert conversion we need to use to convert uh, we convert the integer to double integer and uh, at the same time we convert the double integer to the floating point double integer to floating point Uh, we will save and uh, if possible to download and see if something there's no problem here and we will go and develop the graphic we go to HMI comfort panel and uh, we select the proper HMI here select the mm, can uh, connect the CPU next and finish here. It's very simple. We need to add um, a button here from elements. Uh, the name for the first button is fill. So for filling, right click on properties, we go to events and filling, then pressed, set, set a bit. Uh, the bit here is, uh, we can, we have possibly, we can use the PLC tags. Uh, the bit for filling is the fill memory. And when we release, we reset. So we have 
still have a sh very short path it's suitable for the uh, it's suitable for the counter example so uh, this is the first button is feel uh, hold the control and drag the the button to make another uh, the next is drain and uh, these are two properties press for drain is something to drain 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 the save and the final button will be uh, resetting the whole let's see this button to align left okay mm, in properties uh, in uh, events the press this will be empty empty and this is also empty empty okay so uh, the controls are the operator controls are done we go to uh, you know graphic elements from the library the uh, it's a, a blur or a, it's a drive uh, it's possible to uh, search the categories we should be in the tank categories you can select any tank that you want and you can change if it's you are not happy with the tank and uh, you can adjust the the tank uh, for for level it's possible to uh, drag and drop a bar here and for for the bar we need a man uh, we need a floating point we need a floating point value and uh, so uh, in bar, uh, we need to select the proper process tag for, for the process tag. Uh, we have this uh, floating point. It's also possible to you know provide more information related to this. I, I will explain that in detail uh, in future. Uh, it's also possible to have uh, Field value or IO field first uh, we assign the tag, same tag, and the type of the information is output. Uh, it's decimal and uh, it should be uh, displayed by this format pattern. I think uh, we have done the basic uh, configuration now it's possible to go live uh, in the HMI let's see if, if it's possible to feel yeah by by each uh, clicking on the fill button 5% is accumulated in the tank and uh, uh, by each clicking on the rain button uh, we are losing the level and you can see that the negative uh, negative values are are not possible i'm feeling sad let's see if if it's possible to so uh, I'm, I'm sure that something is wrong with the uh, multiplication value so uh, 
I made something wrong here because I, I need to change uh, this value here I need to change it to a value and change it here to value for the proper operation I reset again So we reset, fill again. So it's possible to reach the max and it's not possible to go forward. It's possible to drain. And it's possible to reset everything filling and it's a very simple program by using uh, thematic counter and uh, you can you know do the same programming to make yourself familiar with the different uh, uh, programming capabilities in TA portal it's a very simple counter this is the math uh function multiplica multiplication can uh, compare and move and finally conversion uh, and some basic elements here i hope you find something uh, new in this uh, video and uh, thank you for watching